All right. Hello, everyone. This is an overview for a series on do-it-yourself OER for faculty. I am Rachel Fleming. I have a master's in library and information science, and I am currently an open education resource librarian. I have a whole series set on a LibGuide. However, I have found a lot of people do better with overview videos. So that's what this will be. So what I'm gonna discuss throughout this series is what is an open educational resource? What is a ZTC? Strategies for implementation. There's often a lot of confusion between what is an OER and what is a ZTC, branding, marketing, all of those elements. So we will go through all of that. We will also talk about how do we discover and evaluate and find open educational resources. A lot of faculty are always tempted to immediately jump to authoring or creating their own. But no, there are tons of very large, very full OER repositories with open educational resources ready for you to adopt, just like you would any other textbook. And they're ready to go, and I will show you how to get to those. I will also so show you search strategies. There's lots of different ways to search specifically for OER. There's a top-down method as well as a bottom-up method, and I will show you both. We will also talk about evaluating the quality of OER resources. And then we're also gonna talk about remixing, curating, and creating OER. Now, the only reason we are allowed to remix open educational resources is because they are under a Creative Commons license, which allows us to take content, and as long as we give credit to the original authors, we can then go and take that content and remix it, add in our own content to it, and we can use it. So this OER community, it's always growing new, bigger and better resources. You can also curate resources. Think of it similar to aggregating different uh, art pieces in a museum that you put up on a wall next to each other or a collection or anthology, such as in an English department, where you aggregate many together side by side. We will also talk about the steps to actually author an open educational resource from start to finish from scratch. I'm also gonna hit on a whole video just on unlocking the power of LibreTex Remixer. Currently, I'm working at Kalinga College as their OER librarian, and this has just been a highly effective method. It is very user-friendly and it's free to start, unlike some of their competitors, which have a beginning fee. I will also hit on things like accessibility, usability, and publishing. Part of OER is we need sustainability of this resource. We need retrievability and discoverability of this resource so that students can type in whatever keywords come to their mind and be able to find this resource and find your textbook when they are starting their class. So we will hit on accessibility, we'll talk about enhancing user experience, and we'll also talk about publishing and distribution of OER. I will also have a whole video on copyright versus creative commons versus fair use law. There are a lot of confusion over this. I've run entire workshops and there's always going to be a lot of nuances within this work. Full disclaimer, I'm not a lawyer, I am a librarian. So I will give you all the basics. I will also hit briefly on AI copyright and project management. Um, we have some very beautiful statements from the US Copyright Office. So we know specifically how they feel about AI as well as some case studies. And then if you are collaborating with other faculty across different institutions, or between a faculty and someone like myself, a librarian, we can talk about project management and what this actually means to have project management. We can also talk about tools. I made this silly little presentation using a Gamma AI. So you'll notice it's not perfect, but I was able to make it in under five minutes and get going. So we'll talk about some very cool AI tools and how they can expedite processes that then you can edit. So to get started, you can see all of this content on the LibGuide that can be found at the West Hills College Library, Kalinga College LibGuides under OER, Do It Yourself for Faculty. And it's this link right here, and it'll take you right here. We will cover all of these things in the next videos. And I'm excited to be here with you all.